Well, Megan here. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. So I was recently asked by someone how to sh uh, create and share editable Canva files. So if you have something like Instagram quotes um, that you want to sell and have customers edit them to kind of how they want to edit them instead of selling them pre-made, or if you've got like a planner that you want to sell, some journal templates that you've created with Canva and you want to sell them, um, and list them as editable. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. Um, I'm actually on a free version of Canva right now. You can do that on the free version. However, if you are interested in trying out Canva Pro for free, I do have a link in my description box to try that out. 30 days, absolutely free. You don't have to do that, but if you do want to create um, a lot of different types of designs using Canva. It is a great product to have. So with all of that being said, make sure to like today's video, subscribe below, and if you've got any questions or comments, leave them for me in the comment section below as I will be here to answer any questions that y'all have about today's video or Canva designs in general. So like I said a few minutes ago, um, I've actually got a free version of Canva pulled up right here. So just for the sake of this video, I'm going to create a really quick design and I'm going to show you guys how to edit this. So just going to do create a design. I'm going to go to custom size and I'm going to make sure that the pixels are changed to inches and create a letter size document. So I'm going to do create new design and I'm going to go over here to the text button. I'm going to add this heading so that a text box will come up and I'm going to put notes. So now I'm just going to move this notes text box up here to the top. Now I'm going to go over here to elements and I'm going to do line and I'm going to select this top line right here. So let's see, I'm going to go to weight and change it to the skinniest option. So I'm going to change the line weight to one and I'm going to move it up here. Now I'm just going to duplicate this line and I'm going to continue duplicating this until I have a lot of lines set up how I want them to look. Okay, so now I'm just going to tidy these lines up. I'm going to make sure that they are spaced out evenly. So I'm going to highlight, just click in any empty space, drag my cursor across all the lines, then go to position, tidy up, and we are good to go. So now I'm going to add I'm actually going to duplicate this page by clicking this duplicate page button and I'm going to just duplicate it a few times. So if someone um, wants to purchase this template, obviously I'm not going to list this template as it is, but if someone um, wants to sell something like this and make it to where a customer can edit this. So instead of it being pre-made and just being in this open sans extra font, if they want to use some kind of fancy font or change this background color to light pink or add some watercolor flowers to it. Um, Yeah, if they just want to add some kind of watercolor flowers. Let's see. Like this. Well. Basically, if they just want to add anything to it or change anything around instead of keeping it just plain black and white, um, then you need to be able to share this as an editable file. So, once you've got your end product right here. You'll want to go up here and hit share. So 
you can either type someone's email in, but if you're selling this on Etsy, you don't have their direct email. You will want to share a link to edit or share a link to use as a template. Now, if you hit this little drop down arrow next to where it says share a link to edit and you hit share a link to view, then that just means that all the customer will be able to do is view it. They won't actually be able to go into Canva or go into the document and edit anything. If you hit share a link to edit, then that means that the customer can edit the file, but it doesn't automatically make a copy. So that means that they would have access to this copy and they can go in and change it and you would lose this original file. So you will wanna make sure that you share a link to use as a template. So if you click this option that says share a link to use as a template, um, that means that it automatically creates a copy for the customer to use that they can rename and change to whatever they want. And it doesn't affect this original copy that you, this original document that you created whatsoever. So hit this little drop down button and hit share link to use as a template. Once you have this option selected, hit copy link and you'll want to go into Google Docs or whatever document program you use. Um, just start a new blank document and you can paste it, paste that link into here. So once you've got this link um, posted, then go back into your Canva homepage, go back to create a design eight and a half by 11 inches, create a new design and go over here to this text option. So once you hit text, click on one of these to add text to the page and We'll just keep it open sans extra just for me to show you guys how to do this. So let's type, thank you for your purchase. Click here to access your editable files. Hope to see you again soon. Okay, just type in something like this. And we're going to move it around right here. You can make it smaller. You can drag it out a little bit. I think this looks good. Okay. So click here to access your editable files. You need to put a link on the word here. So to do that, click in the text box, highlight the word here, hit these three little buttons right here. And you're going to see a couple of options. Hit this link option right here and you can enter any link you want. So since we still have the link for the editable files opened, um, like copied, we can just paste it right into here and hit apply. So now what we're going to do, we're going to rename this and we're going to hit download. So we don't want to save it as a PNG. We'll go ahead and just save it as a standard PDF because there are no photos or anything. It's just text. So we're going to download this thank you test document. And we're going to save it. And just for this video, I'm going to open it up and show you guys what this does. So once you open up this document with the link in it for the editable file. You're going to open up the PDF just to make sure that it works. And we're going to click here. So once you click here on that PDF, it's going to bring you to this page. Um, so now we're going to use this template and it's already made a copy of notes. Here's the original notes that we just created and shared as a template. And then here is the copy of notes. 
So now I can change this to test and I can change it to any kind of font I want as long as it's not Canva Pro because this is not a Canva Pro account. So I can do notes and I can go to elements and finally add some watercolor flowers. Let's see. I can add these flowers. And I can move the position to back. And change that page. I can change this page to some kind of funky font. Let's see. I can change that to notes. I can change this to this color and then add cats. And do whatever to it. So that's how you do it. And then if you go back to the home page and refresh it, you will see where there is a file that says notes. And then there's a file that says test. So all you would need to do at this point um, in order to upload this into Etsy, I'm going to actually go to this browser right here, type in Etsy, and I'll show you guys my shop. Um, so let me go to shop manager and I'll go to listings. So specifically for these editable files that I have right here, so like these motivational editable quotes and the positive, bleh, positive editable quotes, um, all I have listed down here um, is this PDF, kind of like the one that we created right here. So I basically have this listed in my digital files so that when someone purchases this file, this editable file, they get brought to something similar to this. And all they have to do is click here and it takes them so that they can edit the quotes or whatever files they have. And that's pretty much it. So hopefully that answered any questions that y'all have about how to create and share editable Canva files. If you still have any questions or have any comments or concerns about this video, then make sure to leave everything in the comment section below and I will get back with y'all as quickly as I can. Thank y'all so much for watching this video and I hope to see y'all again soon.